Good morning and rejoice always in the Lord. The drama you are about to watch is based on the message by Apostle S.S. S. Shombe titled No State of Being is Perpetual. There is a big challenge in the church today, especially in youth. Most of youth seems to have the desire to follow and serve Jesus Christ, but they are lacking patience. They don't want to wait on the Lord. They don't want to follow the right process and wait on God's time, which is the best time. However, due to temptations of Satan, youth are becoming victims of the works of darkness, which lead them to disobedience. Ladies and gentlemen, let's pay attention to what we are about to witness. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for your love and care for me. I trust you, you are my provider, you are my healer. In fact, you are my everything. I will follow you for the rest of my life. But Lord, for how long should I wait on you? I am so much committed to your work. I always go to church every day we have a service. I read my Bible every day and meditate upon it. In fact, I am the most committed youth in our church. But Lord, it's two years now. I graduated, but I am still unemployed. Since I became a born again, I did not give my body into fornication. I have been keeping my body very pure. I will be 29 next year, yet I am not married, not even a fiancé. What is wrong with me, Lord? Have I done anything wrong? Did I offend you in any how? Lord, why me? Why me? Sister Joy, why are you worried? Why do you want to lose focus? When you are a born again Christian, your life is in God's hands. I want you to listen to this sermon by Apostle S.S. Shombe. Okay, my sister. There is nothing that you are going through is permanent. Are you sick for so long? Do you marry and you lose your wife? Did you give birth and you miss, you lose your child? Are you married and you are waiting for a, a fruit of the womb? Do you have war with your husband in the house? Do you see your children that are not correlating to one another? So I want you to understand the day. Job went through the same challenge. But don't make his case, his temptation, his friend. Yes, yes, I worry no more. Satan, you are a liar. Hello, sister. Yes, brother. Where are you going? I'm going to church. Oh, sister. Why do you still go to Revival Church? Do you know that all people in Revival Churches are men? Look at yourself. You have been going to that church for years and you are not getting any job. How old are you? You are not even married. You will remain poor. Hmm, I feel pity for you. Hmm, maybe it's true? But no, you spirit of fear, get away from me. I won't believe you at all. God did not give me the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and self-control. <laughs> did you hear? That sister in choir is apparently dating John. Wait, what? Which John? The guy in Asha department. Ah, that guy is suffering from the spirit of lust. Every girl coming to church, he's proposing. He even proposed to me. You? Yeah. Oh, I rejected. I said, I don't want a poor guy. You better. Ha! Oh. Hey, go ahead. No, I want you. Let me tell you. <laughs> Sister May is in courtship with the other evangelist. Which evangelist? The evangelist who opened the service last Sunday. Oh my God. That Poor courtship. I am not moved at all. It will soon fall apart. Hold me. That evangelist is supposed to be my husband. Maybe. We will see. 
But I'm doubting that courtship will soon fall apart. Just wait. Yo, guys, how did you know all that? By the Bible saying, <laughs> white Bible, boring madam. Every time, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, until then, you are even single. Madam, single. Keep waiting on the Lord. Maybe we'll provide for you. The nice maker. Madam Bible. Hey. Huh? She's single. As for me, I will never be single. Never. You end up all the men in church getting married. Don't be fooled. Sister Joy got shaken. She felt the sister opened her eyes. Just waiting and waiting is not the right option. You need to act also. God is taking long, she thought to herself. She was ready to do anything she can do to get a boyfriend or even a job, forgetting that God does not work with shortcuts. And when God sees that you are not ready for your blessings, he delayed them a bit so that it will not destroy you but build you. Dear brethren, let's witness what happened when Joy encountered with spirit of lust as well as spirit of pride. Hmm. These church girls, they call themselves Christian born again, but they are fake. I am dating five girls in church, and I slept with them all. Now I want this joy. Yes, because she thinks she's holy, but I will deal with her. Oh, she's here coming. Hello, Sister Joy. Yes, brother. Uh, my sister, I know you love Jesus Christ so much. Yes, that's my thing. And you are so committed in church. I'm humbled. Just like me. Mm -hmm. So, last week when I was praying and fasting, I started speaking in tongues for about two full hours. Like, super califragilistic. Hey, and there was fire everywhere, my sister. So I felt the presence of God. Mm. Then when I went to sleep, my sister, God showed me that you are my wife to be. From there, I started seeing you in my dreams. I really love you and I want to marry you. As the Bible said in Proverbs 18 verse 22, he who finds a wife found something good and has received favor from God. You are so beautiful. Oh, glory be to God. God is indeed talking. Okay, thank you, brother. I heard you. Give me some time to pray about it. Yes, my sister, but don't take long. And if you give me a yes, we are going to sleep, my sister, together. And we are just going to do it small, small, you know. Uh, uh, but brother, Apostle Shombe told us that the sex before marriage is a sin. That's fornication. Ah, fornication. But you know, my sister, that nobody is perfect. And we are all sinners. Ah, don't worry, we will pray for your forgiveness after we have done it. As the Bible also says in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, that even though the sins become red as crimson, he will wash them and they will become white as wool. So why are you scared now? Mm -hmm. Okay, brother, but let me pray about it. I'm getting hard. You are so beautiful. Sister Mary, there's a good news, so hey, there's this brother. He came to me with a revelation from God that I'm his future wife. Joy, Joy, what is wrong with you? Why do you want to become a victim of Satan deception? Do you want to take shortcuts? But Mary, I'm really tired of being single and poor. I have been serving wholeheartedly in the church, but God is not showing up. But did you forget that delay is not denial? God is still working out the answer. I want you to listen to this message by Apostle S.S. Shombe. When you encounter temptations, so you're supposed to accept them with all your hands. You're supposed to make them your friends and bring them closer to you. 
Oma ele kwa kufe kongo ka umekwende takala po pepi nave. You are supposed to ask yourself why now and why they are coming. De tori fulane kucha omurasi ke pai fe no kwen okwe ila siko masongwa. Why did they like come now? Omurasi ko pota ya pai fe. Why me? Omurasi ke ya kwa. So means there is something great. E so tasi cho penasi mwe sha kula. That you are learning or you need to prepare for. Something big for your goal. I think I'm gonna let you go and go and go so far. I think I'm gonna let you go and go and go so far. Ano adalu lulanga una shove kesi kongere kange ove kuna nto monomo talo tanda jalo ta talo to hemanji o pele perenji ame ke dinamo ongere makuiwete o ala kuliashi o ala kunwashi ndudo ya ndoko mwe ya sanjala pi ukali ya kauti ya kangu nenge e wa dia de ni petadi jamo shive ba man tembi ufasoke amoka na kaju And he's taking time to answer prayers. He's preparing to come out big. Stop complaining. Be at ease. And take your Bible. Go through in his promises. He said, I will heal you, but you are still complaining that you are sick. He said I will deliver you, but you are still crying that you are suffering by demons. I will bless you. You are still complaining that I am poor. Joy was encouraged and determined through his mentor's teachings and words of encouragement. This time around, she was focused and decided to follow the process. She never paid attention to the deceivers and all the spirit of destruction sent to destroy her life. After six months, she attended an interview for her career. The interview was very tough, but Joy testified that she could not tell how the words were flowing out of her mouth. She received an invitation to meet the company CEO. Ladies and gentlemen, let's pay attention to their conversation. Oh yes, we think that even the company is now growing. Come in. Is this Miss Joy Jones? Yes, sir. Congratulations, Miss Joy. Thank you, sir. You are the successful candidate for the job. So. This is the office keys. Thank you, sir. Here is the car keys. Thank you, sir. And the house keys. Thank you so very much, sir. You have all the benefits. You will only work from Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sunday are your days of resting. Wow, I cannot believe this. So oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, sir. Can I please hug you, sir? No, no, no. It's not a problem. I appreciate more, sir. Thank you so very much. Wow, thank you, Lord. You're more than welcome. Sometimes later, Joy met his fiance from the Lord, a humble and God-fearing man. Let's hear from their conversation. Morning, Sister Joy. Good morning, my fiance. I'm very grateful to the Lord for you are the type of a woman I have been praying for. Apostle confirmed already for our wedding ceremony to be held next year. Thank you so much, my fiance. I still can't believe you are my husband to be. I'm a blessed woman indeed. All is well. We thank God for the grace. Don't worry. What is next is just the introduction, the engagement day and the wedding ceremony, we will trust God for more. After a year, all arrangements were made. Joy got married and they lived happily with her husband. After two years of hard work and dedication at work, Joy was recognized as the most effective employee where she was promoted to a general manager. Children of God, 
You may feel like your blessings are taking long. But one thing that you should know, God is not late nor early. His time is always the best time. The beginner is not the owner but the finisher. Therefore, be encouraged to trust and wait from God in whatever you are expecting from Him. Remember Jeremiah 29:11, which says, For all the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a good future. Good morning and rejoice always in the Lord. I'm gonna pray.